The Cleveland Police Department just spoke about his mid-year report on crime, and they say some crime rates are actually falling. Violent crimes like homicide, rape, robbery, and felonious assault are all down for the first six months of last year. Other crimes like burglary and theft are up. You may recall I first brought you coverage of this last night at 11 o'clock with my exclusive one on one interview with the Cleveland Police Chief and Safety Director. And tonight we are bringing you in depth coverage of today's new con news conference and what it means for the city. Let's start tonight with News 5 Jordan Vandenberg with the big takeaways from today, Jordan. Yeah, good evening. While well, city leaders lauded the positive progress, as they called it, they also realized full well that it may just take one bad month, a bad week, even a bad day to turn these statistics on their head. Crime is one of those vexing issues that requires a profoundly complicated solution. And for Chief Wayne Drummond, we have a lot of work to do. Lowering crime in his city requires a profoundly comprehensive approach. It's a combination of uh, the efforts uh, through the city and trying to make it a more holistic approach to just not rely on law enforcement. Again, if you just you just can't, you know, and, and maybe it's all against being a police officer, so you can't rely strictly on law enforcement to, to stop um, just crime in general. Through the first six months of the year, Cleveland has seen modest decreases in most categories of violent crime, including homicides, compared to the first six months of 2021. But here's where it gets more nuanced. The 70 homicides through June of this year ranked the second highest figure over the past decade. The causes, officials say, aren't clear cut. Compromising of the social contract between people um, and just, just following the law. Mix that with the perfect storm of, of a pandemic where people were um, kind of held you know, at home as, as in quarantine and also the reduction in, in across the country with staffing with police. What's important is, is how we come out on the other side of it. 90%, 90% of all gun related homicides in the city of Cleveland are young men of color age 18 to 29. So we know what the problem is, and we as a city must continue to focus our resources and investments on addressing that structural issue. Addressing that structural issue, Mayor Bibb says, is going to come from a litany of sources, from prevention to intervention to, yes, law enforcement. But with continued staffing crunches at the Division of Police, Chief Drummond says combating other types of crimes has grown more difficult. I would be remiss if I said that uh, our staffing doesn't affect it. Of course it does. Um, if I have uh, 1,640 officers, which is my full staffing, that's what we're budgeted for. If I had uh, 1,640 officers, that gives me more flexibility. Lowering crime in an impoverished city is a complicated problem that requires a cohesive solution, officials say, and handcuffs are just a part of it. Not everyone needs to be cited. Not everyone needs to be arrested. And again, maybe some people will push back against that, but yeah, you have someone out there killing someone? Yeah, they need to go to jail. You have someone out there shooting people? Yeah, they need to go to jail. Robbing people? Yeah, they need to go to jail. And we're gonna do that and so forth, but it has to be a balance. When it comes to property crimes like theft, there is some good news. Over the past decade, the number of property crime reports has been cut nearly in half. Reporting live in Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. Okay, Jordan, thank you. And also today, Cleveland's mayor was asked about the city's consent decree. You may recall the city entered into the agreement with the Justice Department. This was back in 2015. This came after an investigation found a pattern or practice of using excessive force within the department. It laid out several objectives for Cleveland, including creating a police commission, providing training for mental health crises, and improving community policing. The, the implementation of the decree has been inconsistent, but today Cleveland's Mayor Justin Bibb hopes to end the federal monitoring soon. The quickest we can get out, out of this decree, the better it will be uh, for the police department and uh, the taxpayers so we can kind of use that money to reinvest back in the community long term. So a judge has to sign off on the city getting out of the consent decree. It was supposed to end two years ago, but was extended because Cleveland failed to meet the objectives laid out for it. Mayor Justin Bibb also answered questions about a problem News 5 investigators have been telling you about for months now. Cleveland's police force remains dangerously understaffed. News 5 investigator Sarah Buttison continues our team coverage with the new way the city plans to attract officers. And Sarah, it's my understanding you found out the city wants to change how they recruit police officers.
You've got that right, Courtney. Mayor Justin Bibb says Cleveland needs to sell people on why they should become a police officer and become one in the city of Cleveland. Rome was not built overnight. We have a long way to go. The next brick to lay? Hiring a marketing firm. The way we communicate about the benefits of working in law enforcement have to change. After all, Friday, Cleveland postponed its next police class. The city had found only nine qualified cadets. Uh, we are trying to attract the next generation of officers, particularly from communities of color that are hardest impacted by violent crime in our city. Under Mayor Justin Bibb, the city has taken other steps. A new deal with the union raises pay by 11% over three years. And officers can now wear ball caps, grow beards, and get tattoos. This administration, along with city council, is committed to working around the clock to get this right. It's no wonder the city lost 25% of its force during the pandemic. And 250 more officers have put in enough time to call it a day. Chief Wayne Drummond says the police department staffing shortage could get worse before it gets better. With uh, the folks that are eligible to, to leave right now, uh, it gives me pause. Uh, no question about it. That's right. And the city hasn't even put out an RFP yet for the marketing firm it plans to hire, but says it will soon. No word tonight on if or when the canceled Cleveland police class will be rescheduled. I'm News 5 investigator Sarah Bodison. All right, Sarah, we appreciate you staying all over this topic. Thank you.